I still don't understand to this day why I got some Clash gameplays records looks like potato. Uh, why know you record in 1080p like everybody else? All right, well, that's it. Let's jump into this, you guys. I'm going to record with the Mojo, the Nexus Android device, my iPhone 5, and the iPad Air. We're going to do a comparison with these things. This is what I'm using to record with the Android devices. This is SL with the HDMI and micro uh, port. This is my iPad Air iPhone 5 recorder with lightning cable and HDMI port. And this is the HDMI port cable right here. That plugs into these devices. And I will be using my PC and we're gonna push the limits and see how high quality I can get this. Okay, so I'm on my desktop right now and I'm using a recording program called Avermedia. This lets you uh, plug your device onto your PC so that you can see it. However, you can't record iOS games on it because of copyright. So we have to use a third party application called Action and it records your screen. These are my settings for Avermedia. If you wanna write them down or use them, go ahead. But let's go ahead and jump on to the iPhone 5. This is what it looks like. I'm loading up the game for you and we're gonna see the quality of iPhone 5. Whoops. Okay, so this is my village on iPhone 5. Take a look. If we zoom in, we get out of the black boxes and this is what it looks like. I'm trying to zoom in as close as I can so you can see it, how much quality it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera around so you can see if there's any motion blur or any choppiness. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the next device, the iPad. Now I'm using the iPad Air for this, and if you can see, there's a few black boxes on the right and left, but we'll get back into that later. I'm gonna zoom in for you so you can see the quality up close. I have my ind indentations for my fingerprints. That's what I use when I'm live recording, so you can see that. And this is what it's gonna look like when I move it around if there's any motion blur or choppiness. Yep, pretty good. Okay, so the reason why I don't really record with iPad Air is because of these black boxes. Uh, I'm gonna try and zoom them out and get rid of them and this is what it's gonna look, uh, look like. As you can see, it's squeezed out and it doesn't look too good. That's because the iPad is done uh, in four by three aspect ratio and not 16 by nine, which is widescreen. So, Let's go into the Nexus. This is an Android device. Uh, usually Android devices are a little better with quality. If you can see it now, this is what it looks like. Uh, so zoomed in, you can see it pretty good. There's my Archer Queen. We're gonna look around and I'm gonna go ahead and do the motion blur for you. you. You can see if it's choppiness or not. And that is the Nexus 7. So let's go ahead and jump into the Mojo, which is also an Android type device. It uses Google Play. And we're just gonna load this up and see how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the um, black box down there. And it's a little stretched. And this is what it looks like on the Mojo. Now I can't zoom in, I'm not sure. I haven't fooled around with the controller enough to figure out the feature to do that, but this is what it looks like with motion blur. I'm moving it around and it's pretty crisp, but I'll let you guys be the judge of which one is overall the best quality while I'm recording these. So. I'm going to go ahead and put them all together so you guys can choose which one is right for you if you want to compare them and see uh, which has the better quality. I don't really have a favorite device that I use. I just pick whichever one has the best quality. So hopefully now I could uh, stop using potatoes when I record, but this is what it looks like in 1080p if you guys change the quality. So let me know what you think in the comment box. Hope this helped, and I will see you guys next time. Guys, sit out.